You can't, you can't actually record. Uh, I just, um, this, I'd like to make clear that what's going on in this courtroom today is completely absurd. My name's Liam, I'm 36 years old and um, tomorrow I'm disobeying in the dock at St Albans Magistrates Court. Um, I'm uh, appearing at the court for uh, a three day trial for my part in the press action which blockaded the Murdoch printing press. Extinction Rebellion protesters have blocked roads outside printing presses owned by Rupert Murdoch. The News Corp sites in Broxburn, Hertfordshire and Merseyside produced copies of several national papers. Campaigners said that they wanted to prevent titles including The Sun, The Times and The Daily Mail from reaching the shops on Saturday. I'm choosing to disobey to highlight the British legal system's um, criminal complicity in terms of its um, refusal to throw out cases and to participate in the criminalisation of peaceful protesters when it's quite clear that the organised criminality that is going on is at the highest levels of the British government and the media. Unfortunately today the only response is to disobey in the dock and show contempt as you show contempt to this planet. The only thing to do when um, you're faced with an unjust system is to not participate in it and to go into resistance against that system and so that's what disobeying the dock is about. Now, as a result, there were delays uh, right across the country in getting newspapers like The Sun, The Daily Mirror, uh, The Daily Telegraph, uh, Daily Mail delivered to shops and news agents. There is much evidence to suggest that the media is corrupting British politics, that it is not reporting on the climate crisis properly. There's evidence that shows that the British government are not um, fulfilling its primary responsibility, which is to care for its citizens, because it is quite blatantly continually continuing to choose to put carbon into the atmosphere when it's clear that that carbon is um, resulting in the destruction of this country and the deaths of millions, if not billions of people. Um, and it's doing not nearly enough to um, deal with this climate crisis effectively and look after its citizens properly. What's going on here today is a protest um, to the absurdity that is going on. And I ask you, Judge, to, to ask, who is it that you're serving? The Crown Prosecution Service, when you wake up in the morning, do you Goodness. want to uh, defend criminality that's going on at News Corp International that's going on for decades? Or do you want to actually respond to this crisis that is going on? to this crisis that is going on at this time. Who, who is it that you're choosing to defend and represent? Who is it that you're choosing to represent? There's organised criminality that is going on at the highest levels of the UK government and News for International, and this is a response to that criminality. And unfortunately, I am left with no option but to disobey and show contempt. As you show contempt to citizens, ordinary citizens. So, although it is scary, um, you know, the prospect of facing, you know, a few weeks in prison, um, it's quite, um, uh, it's, I'm at peace with the decision I'm making because I can, I know it's the right thing to be doing. And disobeying the dock is a direct response to the criminal complicity of the British legal system and um, for that reason I'm choosing to disobey in the dock tomorrow and um, yeah um, lots of love <laughs>